Don't drop your head back, Sharon. <laughs> this guy finished the game. Yeah, Benny. This guy Benny. won the game. What? Is, how's it? Freddie, Joey, how many of them are there? But you got that guy upstairs. He's got one million cameras. I'm not apologizing for nothing. I'm still not apologizing for the storm, bro. Like, hey, they gave the wrong yeah, Jerome yeah. the suspension. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Maron, what are you doing? Hey, like, comment, subscribe, share. Do everything you got to do, man. It goes a long way. Trust me. You like my shirt? Get straight into the episode. Whoa! And I wonder. And Matt Burden <laughs> is the most beautiful sight. What? It <laughs> it's all ready to go. Flaxy, we good. And I wonder. Hectic Fred, we good. Yes, yeah, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of League Lads. Uh, we have a di bit of a different setting today. Um, some renovations happening at my place, so we've shifted our uh, headquarters into a, a better place, something more more practical at the moment. Let's get started straight away. Um, I want to say, before we do anything rugby league, I just want to say Ramadan Karim to everyone that's, um, you know, doing it, celebrating it, or has a friend that's in this month at the moment. Um, it's a beautiful month full of blessings, hunger for a good reason and a lot of sacrifice. So just to give a shout out to everyone that's fasting. Um, it is long hours and long days, but you know what we do it for, for a good reason. And I hope everyone has a beautiful, beautiful month. Um, the boys, we had Futur together for the first time in Ajibi history. Flaxi ate with us, Fred ate with us. We all had some futuro together. And we're in a bit of a food coma, but we're still going to get league lads done. Any other, any words to anyone celebrating Ramadan, Mr. Fred? Best of luck, boys. You're going to drink some water at my house at 5pm. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> they, they, were, they were eating a snood in front of me, bro, knowing I can't <laughs> eat it. So now I'm going to get them back, bro. Uh, all right, let's get straight into the footy, bro. Let's do a round review. The agenda's a bit different today. We're going to do a round review. Um, there's one, two, three, four. There's about five games here that I want to speak to. I speak about, and um, if you want to add anything, we can go from there. First things first, the Brisbane Broncos and the Rabbitohs. Now, what a game. i got a few dot points here. Shout out to Payne Haas because he is um, doing Ramadan. I don't know if he was fasting on the day or not, but you could see towards the end they took him off and they brought him on. They were trying to like load manage him, Kawhi Leonard style. No, he got injured. Did he got he got yeah, injured? Yeah, he doesn't get injured. But he wasn't much. that great. Like it wasn't like a, you could tell it had a bit of effect on him. So shout nah, out to him. To be fair, last year bro, he probably played his best football yeah. during Ramadan, bro. Look at Kyrie <laughs> as well, bro. Like Kyrie today was slapping, yeah, like, bro. They they're in the zone, lad. You know. Yeah, Benzema back in the Champions League days. Um, first things first, bro. Race Walsh. Now, pff, what a player, bro. Uh, honestly, every single week I watch this guy, and I'm in awe. Like I just don't even know how he tops it more and more week in week out. His acceleration is crazy. There was that point where he went, I think I've said this last season on, on, on League Lads. He was on the right side, uh, right or left, I can't remember, but he got the ball and he just slowed down everything and he just hit the accelerator, bro, and he just flew like, bro, the Rabbitohs couldn't contain him, bro. He reminds me of like Barber, bro. Like one minute he's like in a jog or a light jog and the next minute he's gone full sprint. See you later, bro, you know? And they're just shooting off. That like, try was insane. It was all him, bro. Far out. Just his determination. And he didn't have a good first half. Yeah. His first half was very scrappy. He dropped the ball from a, from a dummy half play. I was just, everything was everywhere, but man, I think that's what you're seeing, great, great players, that when the shit's getting tough, they just know how to pull that next gear and go to that next level. Yeah, Brisbane, looked, they didn't look that good. Like, I said they were washed, like, you know, but they really were, bro. Like, they had moments where they just looked so bad. And it's like, I have this thing that annoys me when something's working and they go away from it. When the other team didn't do anything to adjust, Katoni Staggs, every time they went right, he was just absolutely killing them. Like, absolutely. It like, was on Richie one, Richie Kenna could not stop him. He was, like, on an absolute rampage. Every time he touched the ball, he touched the ball, like, four times the whole game. Stags. Like, yeah, he like, was on a big, he was if, on a rampage. Yeah. yeah, like, if they just gave him the ball more, he would have been absolutely, like, they would have put 50 on him. Yeah. But right. it's just, they just, it would work. Like, he, they give him the ball, he'd make a line break. And then he doesn't touch the ball again for 15 minutes. You know? Yeah. He's got to get more busy, I think, Stags. And when he does get busy, it's crazy, bro. Yeah. Even his defence was unbelievable too, man. He's there was certain a mad player, bro. But like he is, when you have a mismatch, you better be like giving this bike the ball. You yeah, know, you like, better go at him all night, man. Yeah, but they don't give him enough ball. And Sh I know they got Cobo on other. Yeah, shout out to Cobo. He say. had a really good game. Um, but yeah, I think Katoni was the better weapon. Like if with if he got more, like he should have got more ball. But Cobo still had a mad game, bro. And like it will take some time for him to fully adjust that center, but. Um, right now, the South's weak points definitely their their centers, man. Like their they centers Campbell are just. Campbell Graham back ASAP, bro. Yeah, and Wyden, like you know, well now they're talking about maybe him playing in the halves. Well, we haven't got the team list yet, but um, yeah, they need to 
get some centers in ASAP. Like yeah, back I, I, from Hells or find find some somewhere. Not even that, man. I just think they just need to put Wyden in. I just think that team doesn't have enough gears. Like I don't know, bro. When I when I watch the South, when I watch Souths, and we know Souths, they concede, but they can score like three tries in ten minutes. It's like a special for them. But Johnston didn't have an easy path to, on on the game day. Like they struggled so much, and I think they really need like you have to look at that next option. Like oh, we need Wyden back now. We need to get someone that. I don't know what he he can provide a lot. He's they Jack need White. Mungle, bro. They need that mungle. They and he can mungle. provide a lot. And like, bro, even Cody Walker, man, he he was trying, but but the biggest talking point is Latrell Mitchell. Now everyone's blowing up about the interview he did after, where he was just swearing, 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 and whatnot. Now I get it. I get. I'm gonna give you my two cents on it, as usual. I get people don't like that he swore it was live TV and it was like an interview or whatever it was. He's got to stay professional. Yeah, he's got to stay professional. But I look at the other side where. The guy just lost the game when he knew. Like, Lechon knows out of everyone, he knows they could have done better. They should have got the job done. Because towards the end, they just got, like, there was, like, no chance for them, bro. Brisbane were just too, way too classier, way too better. Um, but, I, look, I understand his, his frustration. It makes sense, bro. He's upset. But he can't be swearing like that, man. Yeah, he's the leader, bro. I get it. Like, when they lose, he's the one that they're going to, he's the one that they're going to blame, you know. But, um... Yeah, you just can't be doing that, eh? Nah, like, I get when you win a grand final or... Yeah, Radley, swear, yeah. like, oh, bees, bees. Like, I get that. You know, you're in excitement and happiness, but... But, yeah, that's the situation. you got to compose yourself. Yeah, and he and he, brought, <laughs> he brought up the 100 tries. He's like, oh, I scored the 100 tries today. Like, And I think the Rabbitohs fans like looked at it like, bro, you didn't even do enough. Why are you praising your tries and that? And I understand it, bro. Yeah. Because I'll be critical on my superstar as well if, if he was to do something like that. But, but at the end of the day, it's rugby league. It's adrenaline. The guy literally just finished the game. Disappointed. Probably couldn't compose himself, and if he had it back, he'll, I reckon he'll do different. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah for sure. He's, he, look, he's, he's at the age now where he can't, like, he's not y- that young anymore to be doing stuff like that. I think he's got to be a better role model, a better leader, and just probably not do that stuff. Hey, eh? I got a question for you, <coughs> Race Walsh and Lechel Mitchell. Does Race Walsh already have like more to his game than Lechel Mitchell from what we've seen recently? You can't compare trophies and stuff because Latrell Mitchell at the Roosters was a freaking force of nature, bro. But he shied away from that last couple of years. I and think he takes us to Queensland and New South Wales, you know, fullbacks or centers that could play there. Does he have it? Like, does he have more to his game than Latrell? I think on his day, Latrell Mitchell was probably the best fullback in NRL apart from, let's say, Tommy Turbo. I think Tommy Turbo on his day is unstoppable. Like, literally, good luck trying to stop him, you know, but... Latrell, he just doesn't do it enough. And I think Reese Walsh is the better fullback because he just does it more consistently, you know what I mean? And and I love Latrell. He's one of my most he's one of my favourite players. Me too, bro. Shout out he commented on he commented on your Yeah, I know. Like how mad is that, you know? <laughs> but it's like he just doesn't do it enough. But if there's one guy that can just in ten seconds change an entire game, it's him, you know? Like he's just at the end of the day, Reese Walsh is a small body. Like the troll is so fast for his size. He's massive. Like he's if he's on his if he's on his on his day, bro, you just can't do anything. Yeah, yeah and I, I think like on their best day, I think Latrell's still a better fullback than pretty much anyone. But he does that day is few and far between. Whereas Reese Walsh is pretty consistent. Yeah, Reese Walsh is very good. Uh, at the moment, you're obviously taking Reese Walsh, but people forget what Latrell Mitchell did in, in his last couple of years. Like, yeah, he's, even in Origin, remember that Re- Origin series? He was just a monster, bro. Yeah, he's just the he's just the enemy of the media and uh, yeah. a lot of the fan base, you know. And I get it, man. Like uh, I feel bad for him sometimes because he's under the spotlight so much, bro. Everything he does is so much like, ah, oh, Latrell did this, Latrell did that, and yeah, the agenda on it is crazy, but. Yeah, well, hope hope you can turn around, Lechel. We we actually we're big fans here, man. Like we do be critical and stuff, but we're just reviewing a game in the end of the day. Yeah, so it's all love. Bro. It's all love. And yeah. he commented on your th- on your on your thing. That's so free, man. You had a good weekend. I will yeah. talk about that. We'll get into he it. He did look sus with Ray Walsh. <laughs> just, there's no. no let's he's say, not beating the allegations now, bro. If there's there's uh, that's just there's no explanation. He just gave him a full kiss on the neck, bro. What's that song you played on top of it? Oh, um, George Michael, George. Careless Whisper. <laughs> Tonight the music. <laughs> Oh, that was so good, bro. It just looks so... Like, with the music, it's just like, bro, that's just... just I, I like I like seeing that, bro. Like, at the end of the game, how they knew, like, they gave... I mean, like, Reese Walsh gave it all, and the Chow finally gets that try. I know that they think... I reckon p- fans were zhinding, like, bro, I don't want to see that get up once. Bro, because uh, if, if I'm watching Drew Hutchison do that after I just lose, like, about 20 points, bro, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah, I'm going to be angry as well. I'm so pissed. <laughs> but this is the Chow and Walsh will take it. Yeah, it's a different story. All right, let's get into the Penrith Power game just quickly. Moses Leota is is the goat. I love him. What a machine. I fucking love him. Hey, let me tell you something. Flex you in the back. Listen, 
There, there's a, I don't want another guy running at me, but if, I'd rather anyone run at me than Moses Leora. He's just so scary, cuz. Yeah, and it's like, and, I, and I had a, I had a, I made up, I made a TikTok where I was like, he just drives a Tarago and he just does his job. But people were like, oh, you're offensive. I'm not offensive, bro. Let us drive Taragos too. Bro, we all drive like we're all the same, bro, you know? But what I was trying to say is he's so simple. He's not one of those guys, you know, interviews. He just fucking gets the ball, runs hard, fucking does his gritty work, puts his team on his back when they need to. And he never and gets they lost, credit. And uh, they lost Fisher Harris. Fisher Harris got belted in the first half. He's uh, way too late. Yeah. But so he, he got, so that's a big loss, bro. Especially with Paris fourth pack. Paris have a good fourth pack. So and Lindsay Smith, like, don't worry. Yeah, well, they got, they got good but players. Hey, Leota never cops, like, he never gets his flowers, bro. Never. Because he's always outshined by so many other players in the team. But, bro, he actually has his best games in the big games and against Parra. He always has a blind day against Parramatta. Even grand finals. The bro. grand final was his best game ever, bro. Bro, wow. Well. They could not stop him, man. That footwork and agility was insane, bro. But, um, I smile, don't, the I, smile on his face too. I gotta give my, I gotta, I gotta give my, my flowers to Tango, bro. That bloke was killing them. Like they could, I know he was up against a back row. who probably doesn't know how to defend the position, but, bro, they couldn't. They legit couldn't stop him. Nah. Like, and he just signed a massive contract. And, you know, a lot of people were saying stuff about it. Um, look, it is a lot of money. It's the what's it, what's the contract? Center, 850. Wow. Highest paid center. I don't even know that. What the hell? Or maybe even more. Is it 850? I'm not sure about the price, but I know it's going to be a good thing. Now. Yeah, it's, very, it's a lot of money for a long time. They got time. him on that freaking Suge Knight death row contract, yeah, bro. Would you, that Chelsea contract. Yeah, bro. but why would you want to leave, bro? It's That's like true. death row in his prime, you know? Yeah, like he can, be, he can be at his peak in the next couple of years too. And they still have three, four years. They've tied him down. That's it. Yeah, yeah. And like... Hey, they they they've let a lot of players go now, so that's another homegrown guy that they sort of want to keep, you know. Like, and he just was so damn good. He definitely <laughs> shut a lot of people up with that performance, and um, that's Parramatta's downfall. Like their weak part of their the weak part of their team is They're their backs. centers, or not Panasini, but specifically like you know, like Morgan having Morgan Harper as a starter mm. is. He's going to have his good game every once in a while, but you sort of want someone that's more consistent. In defence as well. And I know he was playing on the wing, and he's definitely an upgrade on Wonga Blake, in my opinion. But I oh, think, yeah. like, that's... If you look at it for a glaring weakness, that's the one. And no disrespect to Morgan Harper. It's just his team all around him is so good that I feel like they're just going to funnel his side. And they did that, bro. And they did that. They did that perfectly. Even though Simonson got hurt very early on. Yeah, and shattered Simonson, bro. But, and, and they had to reshuffle. Still, that's... They've lost guys like Nia Kore, and that's where he would go. He was Mr. Fix-It. Yeah, was I'd, they? <laughs> like, now you have to sort of rely on Madison to be your Mr. Fix-It. Man, that's not and I don't think anyone was as good at... Like, besides Mitch Orbison, Nia Kore is one of those Mr. Fix-It guys that never got... Like, he's probably one of the best Mr. Fix-It guys yeah, we've, you just put him on, we've you had just, in the, the last band couple decades. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, if you lose a center, you can people play fullback if you want to. <laughs> Imagine that, bro, near court. The fullback yeah. gets crazy. He'd get, um, he would get suspended still. <laughs> uh, you got to give Para their, their flowers. I've written this down because I felt like they were in the game. No matter what was happening, they were in the game, bro. And like, as a Penrith fan, you were probably like, bro, come on. They Kill the game, away. boys. Kill the game, boys. And like, and the Parramatta didn't have that in them. Like, like last year, they would probably, you know, down their tools or lose a game. That's it. Yeah. Or struggle to find points. But they just kept coming back, coming back. And them, and I got them on the list with the Sharks, two teams that, and Melbourne, Melbourne have that in their DNA, but two teams that are just, they're always going to be there. I feel like, what we've seen of two games, if they can keep that with them, then it's a big step for them in finals footy. Anything else in the power of game before we move on? Yeah, like I think both teams are going to be like proper teams this year. And mm -hmm. I think with no field position, their attack looked really, really good. And honestly, Penrith's defensive times looked really soft. Yeah. And Yeah. yeah. Well, that, I mean, I mean, they got a job again. Like, get used. To, they've won three things in a oh, row. Yeah, like, you don't. Like, you <laughs> hate to see like Sean Lane going through untouched, bro. It's not yeah. like you don't. That's see a bulldog's that conceded Penrith, bro, try. You, know? you never see a dummy half go through. Yeah, that was weak bro, as well. Bro, he's a guy, bro. Lustig, Joey Lustig. He deserves Lustig, his flowers, man. He's pumping everyone, bro. Like he's so fast. He's kicking forty twenties, bro. Like this guy is a major find. Last year, their biggest weakness was hooker because they lost money. Yeah, and you know, hands is a kid, you know, and. This is like this guy looks like I, I never I know there's so many damn Lussics, you know what I mean? But <laughs> Darcy like, Lussic. bro, like this Fred Freddy Lussic. Lussic, Lussic. Like, bro, this bloke is looking like a damn seasoned pro, bro. I don't know how old he is. <laughs> I thought he was Freddy. I'm like, when that what, what when, when did this guy go? Freddy, bro. Oh, and I'm like, what? 
How's it? Freddy, Joey, how many of them are there? But, bro, this guy's a gun, bro. Get him in your fantasy. Or get him in your super guys before he goes up, bro, next week. Um, Quick, my bad. I'm going to put my hand up and raise my hand. And I said this to you in the group chat. Cowboys, bro. I feel, oh, my bad. I'm apologizing to them. Right? You cannot apologize. I'm just going to say my bad because I tipped against them and they made me eat my words. Look, we're not going to talk about that game. Um, Melbourne and the Warriors. Uh, yeah, the Melbourne oh, and the Warriors. That was a mad game. Was it? I, I didn't really, I didn't watch bro, it. The, the Cowboys were should have oh, lost that game. Oh yeah, they came back and, and won the game. Yeah, yeah. They were like, bro, they should have lost that game. I'm not apologizing for nothing. I'm still not apologizing for the storm, bro. I still, oh, I'm still going on that there. hill, bro. <laughs> I just saw two flukes. That's what I saw, bro. But um, the Knights, bro, they just let in too many soft tries. You can't be doing that, man. And they were on top of the Knights for pretty much the most of the game. Yeah. They bottled it, man. Like good on the Cowboys. Tommy Dillon, Chad Townsend. Fuck, Dillon's looking good as well, man. Far out. William Lukey, tough injury, but man. Yeah. Big I, loss for them on like the side. I hope, he gets, I hope he can get some, like uh, the injury gods can smile on him a bit, you know? Yeah. The rugby league gods can smile on him because you don't want to see him get injured again. Classic six Gus Gould weeks. one. That's a classic Gus Gould quote, rugby league gods. Yeah, six gods. to eight weeks, bro. <laughs> All right, let's get into the game that was one of the best games we've watched. The most craziest ending ever. I missed it. My vi- yeah, you missed this game, but oh my goodness, bro. Melbourne started off very, very strong. Melbourne and Warriors, this is what we're speaking about. Melbourne started off very, very strong. I have a few few players I want to speak about. Give them their um, their credit. Brian Pappenhausen, that second half, fucking phenomenal. Had you super coach, turned it around for me completely. You won me my round. I'm so happy. Thank you very much. Um, Tua Piki and Roger Tua Vasashek. Now, Tua Piki, I don't know where this kid spawned from, but he plays rugby league like he's a veteran. Like he knows... Like, you know when you watch a player, like, you know when we say Reese Walsh and we're like, yeah, he can do whatever he wants because like, he can try that because he's so good. I feel like Tool Peaky plays like that. Yeah. Has that. He has that in his character where I'm like, bro, he was freaking stepping people in his like own goal, getting out of the thing. Like, and he's this small. Yeah. I mean, he's not worried about, I'm going to get here, I'm going to get whacked, I'm scared in the height, in the, um, in the, when the ball's in the, he just didn't care, all the confidence in the world and, just when you thought Clockstad's injury was bad, they have someone to replace him. Yeah, but they definitely miss Chansey. 100%. And um, I think when he comes in, they're just going to look a lot better defensively because he just, they just play differently when he plays, you know? Yeah. There's more structure around them. Yeah, and uh, fullback has to talk a lot and younger fullbacks don't talk like as much as experienced ones do, you know? And like, again, more big game experience. Chansey's that sort of guy when a game, when a, Lights are the brightest. He plays his best games, bro. It's like Dylan Edwards, man. Like, he just doesn't stop. And um, I really like Chansey. And I think he comes back next week, potentially. And yeah. that'll be a big boost. Um, I really like uh, Sheck, man. Joe Chan, bro. I watched, the, I watched the game after, but live, I didn't get to see it because I was at my uncle's birthday. But um, I ended up watching the game after when I got home. And Joe Chan is one rookie. Really, he played good last week, but this week played really good as well. Got a try assist. They're spamming that. Like, they did it twice. They did it last week, too, where they give it to the back row and he quickly gives, like, gives a shovel pass to, like... Like, they're looking like they're doing basketball passes to Ryan <laughs> Pappenhausen. But I saw the Roosters picking it up yesterday as well. And maybe this is going to be a play that becomes, a, like, something that other teams pick up on because it's so... It's pretty easy to execute. It's very handy as well. Yeah, and, like, if you have a fullback that you need to give him some space, you only need this much space for him to go crazy. Ryan's that, Ryan's that sort of guy, Reese Walsh. You know what I mean? Like... Um, Roger Lake told Pat, us a check, man. But RTS, bro. I'm RTS, so glad to have him back. Wow. Can you give us a glazing little glaze to RTS? I love him, bro. Frank, this is <laughs> me, me just Bro, he done a step or two. I was like, what is that? <laughs> it was like insanity, bro. It was so good to see him back. And I'm liking him at center, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. I like him there. Yeah. I feel like he's more, f- like, he's, he's getting more dog work in, like, more, the more of the dirty work, sorry. And he's getting more busy. And that's what you want to see from, from my giving the like ball, bro. And, yeah, like, their weakest point was set. Like, they're just going to get so much better. I think the Warriors were the better team on the day. Definitely, 100%. Um, we, we, everyone agrees with that. Yeah, and I, I think you leave that game, you're, you're annoyed, but you sort of have your he- head up high, bro. It's not easy to do that to Melbourne at, Amy, at their home ground at as Amy well. Park, I know. Not everybody can be the dogs, you know, yeah. and pump them by, you know, 20. But look at a Melbourne go without Munster. Far out. Bro, I still think they're not making it. Uh, uh, listen, and I it ha- wasn't the, the fact that their top seven team was bad. It's just they don't have much depth, man. They're yeah. like the Dolphins, bro. Like, as soon as they... A few injuries come in, Origin comes around. Mm. Then we drop on points, bro. And I don't know. You, it's going to be a tough league this year. So many good teams. I don't think you're going to drop points. And I will die on this hill. I'm not going to backtrack. You know, if I'm... I, I, <laughs> I'm backtracking, bro. My, I get proven my tips wrong, hurt, bro. <laughs> I, I get proven wrong. I get proven wrong. But I know in the NRL, things change very quickly. You know, everybody Definitely. thought Dragons were back for a much premieres, you know. 
I thought they'd be back for four weeks at least, but March merchants, huh? March merchants, bro. But no, they were ass. But we'll talk about that one later. But let's talk about that try. That try. That try. Honestly, Xavier Coates try. And I'm gonna go out and say this. And I've watched a lot of rugby league. That was one of the greatest rugby league tries I've ever seen, if not the greatest rugby league try, because of the ending. Yeah, the way he, the, the way he got up in the air, my brother. And I did a bit of uh, Phil Guild Ray Warren commentary on my TikTok. In the air. In the air. In the air. The way he got up, bro, it's like, what the fuck is going on? Is he going to land on his neck? Is he going to land on his wrist? Like, what's going on? And then the slight, like, his hands there, he's lifting. So much goes, so much goes into that moment. So much, like, what's going through his brain, bro? And it's all instinct. We all know that. It's not like, yeah, I planned this to run and put my hand out. He might do a bit of training, but the way he leaped... Jumped over, I think it was Zelezniak. Yeah. And Zelezniak got he them didn't finishes. Watch any to what, he didn't watch he didn't any to watch any, bro. Exactly. And he got up there and puts the ball down. And just to end the game, heartbreak for the Warriors, but what a try for Xavier Coates. And we know what Xavier, Xavier Coates has this stuff in his locker. 100%. We know how, how much of a great player he is. But let's not forget a few moments before that, he knocked the ball on. And I think they conceded off that, which was hard, hard for Melbourne to come back from. But, man, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. My bad to Melbourne. Um, the thing with Melbourne is every time they lose a player or something happens, whatever, we always say, yeah, yeah, they lost him, he's gone. But Harry Grant comes in, Munster comes in, you know, Slater goes, Inglis goes, uh, Kronk goes. Like, they just f- sort of find a way and get through it. Um, I hear what you're saying with top eight, with injuries and, and origin. But if they can keep this streak going with this mongrel, with these hard, hard yeah, wins, yeah. I think they're easily in the eight. And pff, I mean, not, I don't know about the four, but they'll be, they'll be close. No, man. I, I don't mind eating my words, man. That's definitely right. A hot right. take's a hot take, you know, but I'm sticking with it, you know. I'm not backtracking, but yeah, fuck, good on them, bro. They're what playing try, hard, man. man. I can't get Break out of that Bellamy try. crazy. Yeah, Bellamy's last season, man. But that try, been... considering context, dude, it has to be like top five all time for sure. Definitely. Because like, you know, you see those tries, but they're never to win the game, bro. You know, Barber's one was to like, like... The neck try? The... the When he landed on his neck? Yeah, like yeah. the one against Parramatta. That was come back from 14 nil down on the buzzer at halftime. It's pretty crazy. This guy finished the game. Yeah, Benny. This guy Benny, won the game. Benny's backflip, a front flip one was, you know, to ice the game. But they were still winning 26, like 26, 22, something yeah. like that, you know. But, like, this one was to buzzer beater, 80th minute, fucking, like, you know, when you're in a kid, you're playing, oh, last minute, last second, yeah. and you go for it. This is like, you know, Kawhi let, Kawhi let the game seven, you this know. This was I mean? the Aguero moment. Yeah. Oh, Aguero! No, 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 no. no, no. Why not? If it's to win the grand final. No, but what I'm saying is like the, the sort of in the game context, not but the yeah. actual general league. But for me, that, that's an Aguero moment because yeah. and, and everyone was on their feet. It's probably the yeah. best game winning try ever, bro, for yeah. sure. I, unbelievable. And bro, we watch a lot of sports. So that's fucking up there with a lot of things that we've yeah. seen personally. Uh, Manly and Roosters is quickly on that game. Manly looks so good, bro. They yeah. look so good. And I want to give a big, quick shout out to Luke Brooks because we said this last season and I'm going to always bring this up. We said he needs a new environment. He needs to be somewhere where he's not the freaking main guy. He needs somewhere where there's no pressure. General media bullying every single week. Luke Brooks did this. Luke Brooks did that. And I I know a lot of Tigers fans probably hate him or whatnot. But, man, I don't think, like, it's he's the one to blame. Yeah. He's not. Luke Brooks isn't this big game fucking, you know, origin player. Where he can, but he's a great player. And if he has great players around him, he's going to get things done. Some players just can't be that guy. They no, can't and it's be fine. the number one option, It's bro. fine as well. It's not yeah. a problem. Like, like they can't be the number one option. It, that's okay. It doesn't mean you're a bad player if you can't be the number one option. Not everybody can be like that, you know. But he is in a much better environment. He has guys that are that number one guy. He has guys that are him, you know. DCE, Turbo. Ola Kawatu, man. Listen. But this is the what, that's what I want to talk about. Ola right? Kawatu, get him his origin jersey right now. I don't care what... It's, it's too early, this, that. If Ola Kawatu is fit and... Well, the only thing is uh, that... Uh, I didn't care about his form. If he's fit... You fucking put him in that side. There's no, there's no dumb errors from him, right? All I see is aggression, and I feel like he's like a classy, classy player, bro. Yeah, man. Gets the job done. He's so, bro. He did. There was one run where he did, he just took everyone with him. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I love this guy, bro. I really, really want this he's guy. He's from G40, bro. That's yeah, why. You, you know when I watch Preston, I'm so like trustworthy in him. That's how I look at Alakwatu. No silly errors. No like little flicks and fucking offloads on the ten and like trying to do stupid things. It's just simple footy. Hard running, gets the job done. And he hits hard. Michael Maguire, get that jersey for him, print his name on it, and stamp it, put it in his room, tell him that he's ready to we go. We don't even have to tell Michael. I think Madge knows. Madge knows. Madge Hopefully, knows he's bro. watching this bloke and he's like, I know Madge. Like, not know you know him, him personally. Hang like, out with him back I know what he likes to do, bro. 
I, I watched like I've been around South Sydney for a while. Like not like, yeah, yeah. I grew up in Redfern. The grandparents still there, you know. Yeah. Like my my family does not stop harping on about Madge. Even when he was out of a job, Madge is the best coach in the NRL. Still, man, still. That's what that's what they all say, and I I respect him so much. And he's a type, even though he's never played Origin, like he's that type, that energy he brings, the mentality, like the way he coaches is made for Origin, bro. Just all toughness, you know. I know he's looking at guys like Cameron Murray, Koloma, Tangi, Big Schmole, you know, Jacob Preston, Nat Butcher, those sort of type of players. I think he's looking at them as like a potential origin, like, you know, hardworking back rollers that put in work. There's so many to pick from, bro. Like, Jacob Preston, I don't even think, I don't think he's going to make it this year because they don't seem to be using him as much, but he's definitely one for the future. He's a match type player. He's a player that match would love. Love him. And I think he's going to lean towards those tougher players that are made for that sort of arena, you know? We love it, bro. But yeah, great work from Manly. Lots, like some of their players are so silky and they like... Classy, man. And Pes- a big shout out uh, to Nella Paseca, bro. That guy was running like he hated the, the other team, bro. That's what we love from a yeah, big Yeah, that's just what a player, bro. Shout out to uh, Tommy. And just on the losing side, shout out to Dom Young. Yeah. That try scored with your commentary. I loved it. It was unbelievable. By the way, if you want any commentary, you go straight to Flexi. He reviews all the games as uh, um, Fred as well. But Dom Young's try, far out. He's just a superstar. He's so quick. And just a quick shout out to Tedesco. For actually passing the ball to him? (laughs) Yeah, it's the first time he passed, bro. Listen, last year, everyone read off Tedesco. They started telling me, like, even even me, I'm I'm a victim as well. Like, game three, I'm like, just bring Dylan Edwards in. I think we lost the series uh, 2-0, yeah? Yeah. Like, whatever. I'm like, just bring him in. But... Tedesco, he looks like he's back. He's got his confidence back. Stem cells, bro. Yeah, it's those stem cells, bro. Stem but cells. He's got everything. He's, he's, he's at the right time now in his career to like keep going, back into his form, carrying the team. I know they lost, but Manly ma- ma- were just so much more classier. Yeah. And they're at home. So you're always going to get that. Yeah, they, don't win a, they, they have the lowest win record there, according to Rando. At home? Uh, uh, the Roosters have Roosters that. have the worst yeah. record there, uh, according to Rando. Like 26, 44%, 26%. And if it's according like to Rando, that. it's correct. It's Rando. Rando's that guy. Shout bro. out to Rando. <laughs> Um, all right, well, anything else on those games before we get into the Bulldogs segment? Nah, let's just do it, mate. Let's get into the doggies, mate. Ah, Bulldogs, Bulldogs, Bulldogs. Now, I um, um, hope I can say this a lot more this season. I was actually very, very proud of that game, bro. From start to finish, I was fasting. The game was at 6 o'clock. I could break my fast at 7.20. So I pretty much watched most of the game um, while I was fasting. And look, the, the game didn't disappoint, man. I feel like the boys, they dug very, very deep. They were just greedy. Defense was so good. The attack looked so much better as well with Kikau and Burden getting more involved. And they're the two blokes that I want to give credit for because last week I was a bit critical on them. But I feel like that's what we want to see. We want to see them get more involved because when that bro, Kikau was a kick, the kick, he's, he was leading the kick chase every single time, every single freaking time, right? And we're going to get into the other stuff, but just they deserve their flowers, bro. Yeah. Even Matty Burden, he was running more. I seen him in the middle, I seen him on the right, like he was moving around. Yeah. And I loved that and absolutely was, was great. I feel like Kurt Mann was good off the bench as well. Yeah, Curran, bro. That's the guy that... Curran man, as well, man. Far out, bro. This bloke. He's, he's like, just waiting he's to unleash... Josh Jackson again, bro. Like, he just... Fuck, he's so good at defending, man. He just... He wins that ball back so much. Like, like that guy <laughs> right now, bro. With, he wins that like, ball so bro, well. first 10 seconds, man. We've got to defend the line first 10 seconds. Like... It's like deja vu from yeah, last um, week. Yeah, because Farmer Sully and Allah. Shout out to him, bro, because yeah, that was I, a bad, bad knock, gets better, man. man. I didn't know he got injured at the time. I thought he just dropped it. And I just saw him on nah, the floor bro. after I recorded my nah, TikTok. His like, face was hit as well. Oh, bro, that's, his fucking cheek was like this, And bro. shout out the boys defended the line hard for Man, him, bro. Man, they were, bro, six all into what, an hour? They had so many opportunities. We honestly had so many opportunities. We should have got two tries, in my opinion. But that's what I'm going to talk about that's after. Good. But, uh, bro, I'm just, I love Josh Curran so much. Came in with 10 seconds. I'm like, I thought they would have put Husey on. But maybe Josh Curran at prop is something that we want to keep going. Because... The game is moving towards mobility, and I know our pack is very small. There's no big boppers besides uh, Farmer Silly, but um, and Husey. Yeah, Husey is not that. He's not a. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's not a junior Paulo, bro. You know yeah. what I mean? Like different style of prop. Yeah, but I love Sammy Husey. I thought they would have put him on, but they put Karen on. I'm like, hey, I'm not talking. Yeah. I'm not talking. I love to see this. I just wanted to play more, and I think lock prop. I don't care where he plays. I just looks get good. him on there. It looks good, man. And, um, um, let's talk about the. I want to give a big credit to the Sharks, of course. Like I said, like same thing as Parramatta. Like they have this grit in them this year, bro. Yeah, like different. they they they're down and their thing, and then they're just my oh, boys. We can win this game, and bro, man, their attack in the end was too just too good for us. Yeah, too, I think we much more gassed. 
I think yeah. they got a bit gassed. We well, um, were gassed, but not only that, like... Um, from the 60-minute mark, their line speed was gone. And they were like, you know, they were getting... It was gone from tackles that were being made. Tackles where, like, they're just hanging on and the players make a 20... I actually link it straight to... When that big bopper came on, bro, I can't Oh, he's a big name. fella, isn't he? This guy was a giant, They came off after 12 minutes and then just went... Like, just I did his job he, and went back. They gave him the ball 50 times in 10 minutes, bro. <laughs> he just wouldn't stop. No, if he's, if he's allowed to get gassed, if he does that, bro... This bloke, they could not stop him. We don't have no one like that, bro. And we defended that so well. Yeah, they kept spamming this bloke over and over. It's like rugby live. Give it to the big buffer. Give it to the big buffer. Give it to the big buffer. It's like you had Shaq. It's like you had Shaq on your team, bro. The most dominant. Uh, yeah, but nah, he was... That's when we really started to break down a bit. But then again, the Talakai, the try that Ronaldo scored. Ronaldo had a mad game. But Talakai drops that ball, bro. And let's talk Let's talk about the refereeing now. Let's get into What the F Ref, our favourite segment. It's back. Hell, We've been trying to keep away from this segment for so long, but... Yikes. <sighs> this, one, all, this one was bad. This was shocking, bro. I've never... like. I, I know people are going to say, oh, excuses. I don't fucking blame bro, you, whatever I, you want. I, I, don't blame, I blame the refs no matter if they're bad. Like if, if to my no matter team, what team. Like, people will always say, at least you call it when it happens to my team. Like, if, I, if, we, if we win off bullshit, I hate it. Yeah, but, me too. But... Bro, everything from like I think it's just that kick out try. The referee's getting in the way. They got to change this rule, bro. Because if the referees put money on, he could just get in the way of everything. Because <laughs> we saw it again now. Jerome, who's got a suspension for what the refs in the way? Get the fuck out of the way, you retard! Yeah, fucking you, you go. Oh. Get the fuck. He's getting suspended because the referee's trying to stop him from doing his job, bro. We'll get into that. Get the fuck out of the way, you the, spastic refs. There was I more swear. than one thing. But no, so that kick out try, which is 100% a try. But Trindle tackled him. Like, he got there. Yeah. All but right, it was impeded. But he got there. No he's never going to stop him. he got there, if he goes low, he's falling over the line. Like, there's nothing that Trindle's doing, bro. This is kick out we're talking about, mate. Then, okay. This one, look, I admit I was sold. When when Kennedy went, ah. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? I'm like, and, and I just see kick out look, look like, what the fuck? What the fuck do I do? I didn't even know kick out knew that like, <laughs> language like that. <laughs> what the fuck? And then we see the replay. He slapped him on the logo. He literally touched him. Wale actually I touched swear, him. Well, like, uh, Kennedy had a mad game too, but what the fuck is that? You gotta be, you gotta find people for that, bro. That's what I was just about to say. Bring something in where a player milks it, you fucking penalise him. Straight out, because, bro, off impact, I, I, can, I understand why the ref can make an error. It's fucking quick. It's a human judgment. It's fine. We all make mistakes. But you have that motherfucker upstairs. Yeah. You got that guy upstairs. He's got one million cameras. He's been in... in so much investment in him. Like, yeah, all these cameras, bro, angles, like, fucking microphones, da, 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 da. Use him properly, bro. What the hell? We touched this thing. P- penalize Kennedy. Tell him, yeah, you milked it. Get the fuck off. Yeah, if, look. It's a penalty for the Bulldogs, bro. Yeah. And I promise you, nobody milks after that. Yeah, yeah. It's like in soccer. We have yellow cards. Yeah, bro. Someone milks it and they get sent off. You can't argue with yeah, it. You, Habibi, you, 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 you done, done that to yourself. Flopping, it's the other team's ball. That's an obvious dive. Whether he's bracing himself or not. Because the guy did not get hit in the head. He didn't get hit anywhere near the head. Like, it has to be something. And the referees, cuz, fuck. Like, you know what burns get me, bro? Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Yeah, get out of the way. No, that, but I don't, no, I don't no, understand. We have this bunker, yeah? And we have this rule, especially with dead balls. Like, when the ball goes dead. They look back. They, they look back. And they, 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 but they don't look. They should be pick and choose when they want to look back, bro. Because Wilton knocks the ball on in the in goal, and they get a line drop out. Like, there's, oh God, there's so many instances where it's just... Like, it was just a joke. And it's frustrating. And so, right? Like, you go look on the Instagram. Like, when that when they put the post of the score, that one, uh, it burns me because that score did not represent the game at no, all. at all. This game was tight as nails, bro. And that was a 12-12 game all out. Like, yeah, yeah. And, and, like, then you look at the Instagram and there's so many people saying, I'm not a Dogs fan, but that was one of the most rigged games I've ever seen in my life. And it just did True not True rugby look, league fans, they yeah, know what it man. is. Bro. Like it's just it was that it was so bad that it was obvious. What is it? Can I ask a question? So what was worse? The Wigan Penrith or the Bulldogs uh, The Bulldogs game because there were so many more there was like it wasn't just one instance or two instances. There was like legitimately five, six, seven instances. But that the Wigan was, game was like it was a big egregious game. It was for a trophy. Like, like Croydon is going for a high ball and he hits he touches the, the back, back of him. He, he touches the back, the back of his jersey and he gets called for it. And then Blake and Taff Blake gets, Taff gets fu- Abu fucked in the middle of the, in the middle of the air by Jesse Raymond doing the same shit as as you know like he's got his, his oh, oh my lord oh. <laughs> he's going like this like he's gonna catch the ball and he just runs into Blake Taff. 
And a black tap could have like he looked like he was he could have ended up in a wheelchair. Like listen, more, it's call what? It's either call don't call him at all. Yeah. Or call both ways. Both of I don't care. If you if you didn't call it over there, you don't call it over there, I'm a happy man, brother. I I'm fair. I don't care. I don't care. But bro, that like the referee getting in the way, how the fuck is that our fault? Yeah. We're attacking. Move, brother. We scored. Get the what's it? brother ooh, what's that, that yeah. name? Brother, ooh, move, get out of the way, bro. Every time I see Ziggy or that Ranga ref, brother, ooh, <laughs> listen, ooh. that, that Talakai, I for the life of me could not believe. Like at this point, I forgot about that. He dropped the ball. But at that rate, I was over it. I was like, yeah, we already know what's gonna happen. We're gonna fucking lose this game. Stock standard. When we put a big performance in, we don't get the result. We don't even come close to the result because of the scoreline. Has uh, Talakai actually drops it onto the Bulldogs player, and then he gets the kick to it. Fuck, I'm going to start doing that every single week then if I'm a, if I'm an NRL player. Bro, oh, every yeah. knock on just boot the cunt. Like, at least you get some forward position, you know it, what I mean? It kills me, bro. It all they... started from that Billy Slater shit from all those Back years ago. Days. Has if, you, if the ball hits the ground and you're not going for a field goal, Connect no them. one, you should only drop kick for a field goal. Tell the guys, like, that, that's, the, that's what the rule has to be. And um, one thing that really makes me jeune, bro, is, um, my goodness, like, the team's gone for the two after a sin bin. The team's gone for like the team's just just remove the two if it's more than a four point game, bro. Yeah, it's pissing me off, man. <laughs> I, I just wanted to play football. Yeah, but that's just a story for another day. But honestly, I'm really proud of the dogs. I think they play. They showed so much grit, so much heart. This is a completely different team to last year. Hopefully, and I think hopefully. they're just gonna keep getting better when that left when that left hand side gets just more confident, bro. They were killing them on the left. Kika look does his best game in years. Mm -hmm. He didn't, he didn't, like I said, I'm worried about him becoming like a Tony Williams. He was the anti of Tony Williams yesterday. Anti it was Tony active. Yesterday. That's what, that, the guy was chasing every kick. What I asked the for last was week. smashing people. What effort. Do, what did it, just effort. Just get involved, bro, please. Just do your, just get involved. Because, fuck, bro, when you get involved, kick out, you're, you're an absolute monster. That was good. And, and you're worth the dollar. You're worth the money you're on and, when you get involved. And Burton was doing so well. Yeah, like, shout out to Burton. He got, bro. It went a bit quiet, but... That first half, that try that he set up for kick out, he beat three, four blokes, bro. That's the burden I want to see more often, bro. You and know? our attack looked much better, bro. Like, we yeah, had more look, openings. We had Burden running the, through the middle as well more. Again, I love to see that. The one issue that I see is just Drew Hutchison, bro. Whenever that, every single kick this bloke put in was a dud. Mm -hmm. Like, he's putting bombs up there in the air for 0.5 seconds. And Crichton's trying to get there and make the most of it. Yeah. Kiraz, this is not working out. This is, this is just, it's just screaming for a, for Toby Sexton, bro. And like no better game to play him than against his old team. Hopefully they we got the Titans him in. this week, yeah. But yeah. You know, he's got the yeah. Titans this week, and I just I don't think they will make changes. But I'd love to see him in there, and I hope Samuel Hughes starts or Curran starts this week rather than Liam Knight. I know Liam Knight's had two decent games in reserve grade, but every time he plays top grade, like he's just a bit of a yikes. I'd mm -hmm. I'd, I think it's time to give like guys like Curran and um, someone we're gonna keep for ages. Yeah. Give them a shot. Yeah, shout out to the Bulldogs, man. We're very, very proud of the effort. Um, and no matter what happens, we we absolutely always love their team, bro. Yeah, out. When you put bro. the effort in, bro, even if we lose and we get a bit salty about the I'm result, happy. We, we, we're happy. We're happy people. And I think they know that, bro. Belmore represents that. Yeah. You could have the worst day and you'll drive past there and someone will make you happy. This is how it is. Yeah. Um, let's move on. AJB Awards, League Lads Awards, AJB Awards, whatever you want to call it, this segment. Player of the round. I'm going to go Ryan Pappenhausen. I'm going to go, oh, yeah, that's a, that's well, a great yeah, point. Yeah, Pappenshausen or Tonga, I think, for me. Yeah, I'll go Reese Walsh. Yeah. I just, I fucking love you, mate. I'm, the, I'm a big Reese Walsh fan now, bro. Team of the round. Ooh. I'm gonna we, go, we can't say the same one, yeah? I'm going to go to the Dolphins, bro. Yeah, what a turnaround. We'll yeah, get into them. Yeah, massive turnaround. Big credit to them, bro, because that wasn't easy, man. And, like, 38 Wayne nil. Wayne Bennett. Mate, I'll just, fuck, I'm just, uh, Dragons are just looked so bad, but the Dolphins also looked really fucking good, bro. 38 nil, you know, that's, the, yeah. I think that's their biggest win since coming back in the NRL. Team of the round for me is Manly. Tough, gritty game, classy in the end, got the job done, and everyone, like more than one person performed, so they're my team of the round. Fraud of the round. The Dragons. The bro. Dragons. Oh, for sure. So I'm going refs, number yeah, refs. one, that's and fair. the Dragons, number two. Ziggy specifically. Dragons, let's talk about the Dragons because last week they won the grand final and Tanaka bought tickets, grand final tickets, Johnny, everyone, they bought tickets. They're like, we're going, we're going to Wembley, this, that. I mean, they're excited. Bro, that performance was stinky. And I know they like, three disallowed tries, but absolute stinker. And I'm just happy. Straight up, I'm happy. Because, the and game. I'm not blaming Shane Flanagan for this. This is all on the players. Like, 
Your, co- the coach, fix it. your coach isn't 38 your coach isn't there for 38 nil and there's gonna be a, he's gonna axe a lot of people this week bro I, yeah. I that's what I believe he'll no do. look I don't think he's gonna axe no one because they're one on one but at, uh, he's the problems of the dragons are deep underlying like deep rooted issues man I don't think it's something they can fix it overnight um, they'll have their, their bright spots every now and then but like this was a team that they should have they should have beat you know? yeah and I tipped I, them as well might, look I thought they were gonna win their fans were in my, you know, thing saying, "Oh, bro, RFM, he was, he could be, he could have been at the Dogs on two. He's, you know, he's at the Dragons now, two and zero, like yeah. before the game. <laughs> yeah, one on one now, cuz. Yeah, enjoy that one. Yeah. <laughs> March merchants. Um, yeah, that's pretty much our awards. Do you want to add anything to the awards? I don't think there is anything. Eh? No, no. Just, oh, who's your super mega, coach? Mega, mega, mega L of the week to, to um, good old Ziggy. Yeah, fuck you, Ziggy. Super coach, superstar this week. Anyone? Did you play fantasy? Yeah, my my best player. I didn't I didn't have a good week. <laughs> he had a bad yeah. week. Mine was Papinelson, bro. Yeah, I don't have one twenty eight. Unbelievable. I was yeah, so I, excited for him. Terrell May, I yeah. put him in and he got me seventy, I think. So he got like forty in the first half. Yeah, good on him, bro. That's Killed Payne Haas numbers. Well, our pa- captain Payne Haas, he just got injured. Yeah, unlucky. All right, let's get into the news wrap up and then we'll do our tips and we'll wrap it up for the night. Um, the news wrap up. First thing I got on my agenda is Spencer eight week ban. We didn't speak about the eight weeks. Is mm. it well deserved? Just quickly. He copped eight weeks for what he did. Your opinion? Is it worth it? Should he have more? Should he have less? I think it's fair enough. You sort of got to make an example out of him. Make sure that the, everybody knows it's unacceptable. Um, I think if it was something a lot more like direct and you can say, yeah, that's 100% racist, it probably would have been longer. But the fact that, you know, it could like, it's not inherently like, a, it's not like a guaranteed racial remark, but the fact that the NRL from their standpoint has to assume that it was. 100%. They have to do and something like on a worldwide spec. I think eight weeks is fair. He could have got more, but eight weeks is fair. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he should have got any less. If Montoya got four or five weeks. I reckon he should have got 12 just for uh, extra four, just for stupidity. Straight out. But listen. Not admitting it until then yeah, is annoying. Listen, for me, like the only thing that pisses me off is rugby league is a man's game, right? And I have no space for racism in the world, right? But just sort it out. Like sort it out after. Just between you two. And that formal complaint thing, well, for me, you got to do it. If if it was heard and you, and you didn't sort it out on TV, then I get it. Like, do the formal stuff, but straight up, I would have just had a swack after, bro. Straight up, me and my teammates, you and your teammates just have a fucking mad swack. They tried swack. to do that three yeah. times. But, but for after what? The formal complaint already went in and yeah. Instagram blew it up. So just, uh, uh, and I spoke, like you speak to a lot of players that, people that played footy or a lot of like old school, you know, our, our elders and they're like, bro, would have just punched on after. You know, would have just, not saying violence is the key, but would have just sorted that out after. Whatever happens on the field stays on the field. Nah, but bro. racism, I get it. So I, got, I understood both sides. And not to say that it was correct, anything that Spencer did. No way, bro. And I think he should have got extra four weeks for stupidity. For yeah. actually calling someone, like, I st- it makes no sense. So no accountability until the, ju- that, yeah. until the judiciary is just... And then, like, the sort of, yeah, I copped the racism from before as well. No one said... Like, yeah, 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 that's, yeah, like that's just coping, bro. Coping mechanisms. Jerome Hughes cops one week, one game ban for uh, ref running into him. Uh, NRL, where are you going with this league? You're ruining it. Yeah. You're absolutely destructing it. Jerome Hughes is one of the most innocent players in rugby league. I don't never see him cop any suspensions. He probably has, but we don't look at him and think, oh, bad boy, mongrel, pest, grub. We just look at our guys, you know, classy seven. Great, great player for his team. Ref runs into him and he just pushes him out of the way. Boom. Can you imagine Tony Carroll what he would have copped in this day and age for kneeing a referee in the head? I would have given him a pay boost. I would have paid boost. Like, Tony Carroll sent someone to H- sent a ref to HIA before HIAs existed and didn't get nothing. In this, in this day and age, I don't know what would have happened. But no, just, just that is for me is so fucking rubbish. I don't yeah. even know why we're even... I can't even believe it's going to a judiciary or whatever. I cannot Scrap believe it. he's losing a week. I cannot believe he's losing a week. It's an absolute joke. And then you got Luai on the other end escapes yeah. a ban for a trip, right? Yeah. If you correct me if I'm wrong. It doesn't make sense. Like, uh, for the, what was it? Yeah. Two things in one. And it was last season he got away with something too, bro. And someone else got done for something less. Yeah, no, that's just absolute bullshit. And Rubbish. Um, like, the referee should be getting suspended, mate. Not, <laughs> not, like, get the fuck out of the way. We don't pay to watch you referee. We pay to watch the players. Yeah, we don't care about you. Like, like bro, and we, go like, we back into, refs. go, like, Putting a spotlight on the referees, like, they, bro, the players are more important than the refs, bro. Of course. We can play without a ref, but you can't play without players, man. Definitely. Like, just, I cannot believe Jerome, Jerome's getting, uh, not Jerome, Jer, 
Loi. Yeah, Jerome Loi. Yeah. No, not Jerome. Uh, Moore. Um, uh, Jerome Hughes. He's Jerome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. both Jeromes. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, hey, they gave the wrong yeah, Jerome yeah. the suspension. Yeah. <laughs> bro, like they just like, that's like they got mixed up, bro. I think that's what they yeah. did. They. Bro, I'll trust no the NRL to do that. Way Jerome Hughes is getting suspended for touching a ref, bro. And say shit like Referee, that, bro. You get a suspension. Go to reserve grade for getting in the way of a player in a key moment of time, bro. And you know what burns me, cause they're gonna take the exam to Vegas. Americans are going to trip Because from that. now on, bro, if you're a defender, why the fuck don't you just run into the fucking referee every everybody. time they, every time, every time you're scoring, bro? It's what, it's what, remember uh, Jamie Sowell, 2011, 2010, doing the bloody, doing the shuffle in front of a dogs player? <laughs> to, to, and we got a try, it was nowhere near it, the try got disallowed. He even put it back on social media the other day, like. Yeah. It's that just, one still hurts, just, huh? just go do that every time, bro. Go do that every time. One more thing is Nikora, he got two game ban. In the game, he got. Simbind, I think that's a send off offense for like a fucking head eye on the head. If, if and listen, I don't want it to be a send off. I'm not that. So, I'm not a freaking Karen. I don't. I love the game. We love the grittiness. We love the hard things. All right, it, like Simbind for me was fair, but if you want to be consistent, send him off. You really and that care, game looks completely you different. You really care about HIAs and shit, bro. That's a six week, five six week suspension. And it's getting. I don't it. think the shoulder charge should be banned, but if you do that, if you shoulder charge someone in the head like that. That should be a fully lengthy suspension. So and Kikau's a big guy too. So right, for you to get... Kikau milked it, like, like the Sharks players are milking their penalties, especially Kennedy, has, he would have got sent, sent off, bro. Because, bro could, and they didn't even call it because he didn't milk it. They called it later after it, yeah, three, two, It shows three. that they're looking for the milk more than the hit. If Kikau just lied, I would be telling Kikau, bro, do what everyone else does, bro. Lie down. Lie down. Be a football player. Literally. Get away with things. Yeah, be messy, bro. Anything ah. for the news, boys? I think we've covered pretty yeah, much. Yeah, Ilias, bro. Ilias, uh, Ilias got dropped. dropped. Yeah, well deserved. If uh, it's I, I feel it's bad for him, bro, because I, like he works hard. He man. works hard, bro. But man, this was the biggest problem with the rabbits, bro. Straight out, when you're gonna get rid of Adam Reynolds and you're just gonna bring this young guy that isn't this X factor, like you know when Melbourne brought Pappenhausen in, you're like X factor. Um, Nico Hines, when he was still in the system, you're like X factor. He made his move to the Sharks. Look what he did. He did his bits. Pappenhausen did his bits. Like. There's, there's players that they're ready for it, and I don't think Ilias is ready for that, straight up. If I'm well, bro, good. the guy's had two years now to be good, and he's gotten worse, arguably. Like, he's so good defensively, I get it, but when, why is, like, why are we having games where Cody Walker's putting in more kicks than, than Locke and Ilias, bro? You know what it I mean? It doesn't make sense. Yes, T. Hey, look, I just got a question for you, which is, yeah. remember I called about Man United since, uh, um, there's no episode this week. Uh, Man United um, finally beat Liverpool, Liverpool yeah, yeah. in a big game. <laughs> listen cuz listen cuz everyone's messaging me you're so salty I'm like I'm not bro I'm actually no I called you back <laughs> listen thanks, hey thanks guys thanks for I love you too I love Latest, you too okay. are you taking off are you taking off no uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have a daft that's why oh okay uh, why are you laughing why are you talking, bro? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's get um, into the... Uh, Ilias, no, but I anything think, else? I think, yeah, Dean Hawkins, well-deserved. If he's the guy that replaced him, he's really deserved the spot. Um, he's played well in the trials. And Jai Gray as well was a potential player, but I think he's too similar to Walker. Like, I think Hawkins and... Like, Hawkins deserves a go, bro. Like, Latro uh, Lua, uh, sorry, Ilias has not done enough to keep his spot, bro. And for week for in, ages week too, bro. Guy, I think bro. he's had, like, three good games that I can remember. Yeah. Where he actually left his mark on the game. And it's not good yeah. enough, bro. Yeah. And, uh, Straight out. And Wyden's back. He could potentially be that seven. I think he wouldn't do too badly there. But because they're so weak in the centers, I think sort of going to give Hawkins a run and play Wyden instead of Kenner, bro. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. That's the news wrap-up for this week. Let's get into the tips and then we're off. First game's first. Penrith Broncos. What a oh, game. Oh, grand final rematch. What a game. That's going to be a... What a game. It's at Blue Bet Stadium and that's Penrith's home ground, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not really good with uh, NRL so Stadiums. So, Harris is week to week. Yeah. You know what? I'm, I was more worried about the Parramatta game. Yeah, same. Yeah, I'd be more worried it's, about that. Because it's a, sort of a bogey, yeah? Like they Paramount always beat you. But, yeah. no, nah, I'm going Penrith 13 plus here. Wow. No Adam Reynolds, that's big news as well. Yeah. I think oh, he's out. No Adam Reynolds, no, Adam Adam Reynolds. Yeah. no, no doubt about it. Straight bro. out, no Adam Reynolds. I know everyone's gonna say Penrith 13 plus, but I feel like it's gonna be a one to twelve game. I think Brisbane are gonna have that pain in them from the grand final, and they're gonna be like, Oi, let's step it up, make make nah, Penrith life so it. hard. They haven't dealt with it, bro. They said they haven't been talking about it. Well, they're gonna talk about it this week. So you're going thirteen plus? Yeah, I just think I'm going just Penrith. Don't look right. I'm going Penrith one to twelve. Warriors in Canberra. Warrior where is it? It's at Apollo, I think. 
Warriors Stadium. Oh, Warriors. I think they're going to get this one. But congr- good on your Raiders. They're playing hard, Yeah, man. shout out to the Raiders. We didn't speak about them. But shout out to them and the Tigers. We, we will speak about them next week. But I think this will be a golden point game, bro. I don't know why. It's got golden point written all over it. Two, half, two, two tough teams, hard, bro. tough, greedy teams, bro. Two I'm going to say teams. Warriors win up by one. Um, Roosters, Rabbitohs. Where we? Roosters 13 plus. Really? This is a matchup. We always say this, bro, but this is a, this. The Rabbitohs always come out. No, no, no. I always go Rabbitohs to win this one, That's but this is one I just they just don't look right, and okay. um, I don't know like, if the lineup change is gonna do much, but the Roosters just look pretty decent right now, so I'm gonna go with the Roosters here, and I think thirteen plus, bro. I don't know. Something's just telling me. Uh, I'm gonna this go. Is, I'm gonna go. Them. Yeah, I'll go Roosters. I'll go Roosters, and I just I feel like one to twelve because it's a big game always. Like it's. It so can go any, anyway. It's There's like no the rivalry game, yeah. It can go anyway, but I'm going to go Roosters 1 to 12. Bulldogs, Titans. At Belmore, I'm going the Bulldogs 1 to 12. And we sort of, like, we honestly had our, some of our best games against against the Titans, Titans last year. And with no day for feeder, I think he's just so integral to that team. I'm just going to go Bulldogs, the, Bulldogs 1 to 12. Because I'm just going to, I feel like Titans are going to beat us because we're at Belmore. That's the only We thing. won last year at Belmore. For against them? Or Tigers. Uh, Oh yeah, that's last true. Time, we broke the curse. Time, yeah, yeah. Last time we versed them, twenty eighteen. I left at halftime. Yeah. I remember. I know we're doing the test. I remember AJ Brimson and Ryan James. They were like, AJ Brimson just broke out, broke out, and Ryan James is a try scoring machine. And we I remember Ryan James. Front bro. row, front row of Belmore, and we're like, hey, keep going. Like I need you guys. I got you on super fantasy, coach. super coach. <laughs> and then I think that was the game where Woodsy checked out, mate. Because I remember those. I'll never forget this guy on the sideline, bro. He just kept yelling. Don't drop your head back, Sharon. <laughs> this was peak bad haircut, Aaron Woods, bro. And I'll never, I'll never, because I, I laughed at the pain there. I left it after about 50 minutes. <laughs> so we're going, you're going what? Yeah, Bulldogs on to 12. Uh, fuck it, I'm going to go Bulldogs on to 12 because they're my boys, I'll back them. All right, Dragons, Cowboys. Cowboys. I think Cowboys really? 1 to 12. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go Dragons 1 to 12, bro. Very, very tough game. I reckon, I reckon Dragons game. bounce back straight up. And and if they don't, it's big signs for Shane Flanagan. Tigers, Cronulla. I'm going to go Cronulla here. Yeah, Cronulla 13. But plus, shout out to Lachlan Galvin. He looked good. Yeah, shout out to whoever Fred just said. I don't watch the Tigers game, to be honest with you. Debutant, bro. Para, Manly. Para, oh. It's at Combank. Ooh. This is a great game, This is hey. a tough one, bro. I'm going to go... Parramatta by like two. Ooh-hoo-hoo. I'm going to go Manly... By eight, bro. I feel like Manly are just classier, man. Straight up. We'll see. Manly has been playing better than Penrith as well this year. This year. Like, of what we've seen. This year, yeah, bro. They didn't look that good last week, to nah. be fair. Manly? Yeah, like, nah, a lot them. of drop balls, bro. I like, know, but I rated them in attack. I rated them in, like, in the transition. They look good. Last game of the week, Newcastle Knights and Melbourne Storm. It's at McDonald Jones Stadium, a.k.a. Dan. Dan State. This, yeah, Dan, it's, it's, Dan's home game. Shout out to Brickies, Dan. Brickies, mate. <laughs> Brickies. Uh, this is tough. I'm going to go Melbourne. One I'm gonna go. 12. I'm gonna go Newcastle upset them, bro. One um, to twelve. Yeah, I'd love to see that. But yeah. every time I tip a, a tip against Melbourne, they win. So Melbourne one to twelve. Yeah, I'm gonna forget my tips, bro. I went zero for mate first week. Last week I did four for mate. So wake we're getting up, there, boys. Ponga. Wake up, Ponga. Yeah, well, Ponga needs to wake up. We'll have a conversation about him next week if he's awake or not. That's us, league lads. You guys. What did you get? Uh, yeah, what was your tips? Five, what'd you get? five or eight. I five or eight. eight. Shake my hand, bro. We'd, we'd, I think I can't even remember. Shake in there, though. Uh, we're too far away from each other now <laughs> alright that's us man love you all take love it easy you. subscribe like comment do what you gotta do do all the magic stuff we're making shit happen over here on the Ajibis couch shout out to League Lads shout out to Flexi love you all